This is by far the best Atlas build out there right now. What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with the ultimate Red Crit Atlas build. Before anyone thinks to say, hey, you're using Wrathful Advance, aren't you? Well, you're severely mistaken. Atlas does not need that ability. As we all know, Atlas does a lot of damage, but sucks at landing crits. And back in the day, we had to use Arcane Avenger, dump all the extra crit mods on the melee weapon to boost his fists to only hit 100% crit chance. Well, in this build, I'm hitting 304% crit chance. Oh yeah, that's a massive boost. Looking at his first ability, his main source of damage, Landslide. It's a pseudo-exalted melee weapon, meaning it has its own stats and scales off Warframe and melee equipped mods, combo multiplier, along with arcanes and other modifiers. Landslide has 5% crit and status chance. Oof, and a two times critical multiplier which is not bad. Just like other pseudo-exalted weapons, it gets a 3.75 times final damage multiplier at max combo. However, Landslide has another multiplier, and that's its combo chain. So, landing consecutive landslide hits gets a combo damage multiplier, going from two times to a cap of four times. The first chain achieved on the second landslide hit gains a 200% damage and radius increase and a 50% energy reduction cost. The four times chain achieved on the third hit gains a 400% damage increase, 300% impact radius, and a 75% energy cost reduction. Basically, the more you punch enemies, the more damage you do, the more range your punch explodes for, and you use less energy. And the other great thing about Landslide, it also builds up regular combo counter and grants you iframes with each punch. But guess what? We can multiply that damage even more. <laughs> Good god, what's happening? The Augment. Rubble Heap. So, Atlas has a passive that grants him armor and heals him whenever he consumes rocks, which is seen on the bottom right corner of the screen. These rocks are dropped when you kill petrified enemies or when your dumb rock minions die. Once you reach 1,400 rubble, Landslide costs no energy to cast and deals two times its damage and travels two times faster. What is happening? And this is where another synergy comes into play. Path of Statues, Landslide's Augment. Punching enemies leaves a trail behind you, and when enemies walk into it, they get petrified. Basically, a free cast of Petrify. Now, the main way I'm getting my crit chance bonus is none other than using Ceramic Dagger. Oh, it's another Ceramic Dagger synergy! If you guys did not see, I did use Ceramic Dagger to make Gara apply bleeds with her first ability while also red critting. Go check that out. Ceramic Dagger's final evolution, Absolute Valor, grants the weapon 30% base crit chance, which applies to Atlas's landslide. So Atlas gets a base of 35% crit chance. Let's do a little math here with a Rivenless build. Blood Rush plus Sacrificial Steel plus Gladiator Might gives us an 8.7 times critical chance increase. When you apply that with the base of 35%, it gives us a total of 304.5% crit chance. And what does that mean? Nothing but a red crits, baby. Now that we've solved our crit problem, how do we add damage while also providing ourselves with utility? That's where the helmet ability Nourish comes in. This grants me a viral elemental damage multiplier on my weapons, which also applies to Landslide, increasing its damage. Not only that, it provides me with an energy income multiplier, increasing the amount of energy I get from all sources. 
and a lovely viral retaliation buff. Basically, when I take damage, I send out a wave to stagger enemies and apply viral onto them. I, I, how is this ability just better on other Warframes than the original? Kind of reminds me of that one Warframe that gives you gloom. What's his name? Ah, forget it. I bet no one remembers him either. I do test these builds live on stream. I ended up hitting random millions of damage of crits and I didn't even realize. And what was so funny is that oh, violence, shit, violence had it in for me because this damage just one shots everything and violence couldn't take it. He kept on coming back for just revenge, but always failed. Bro, just, just get the fuck out of here, man. Yo, but I can't catch a break. All right, now that we know how all of this works, let's take a look at how we build Atlas and the Ceramic Dagger. Starting off with the build requirements. Now, the Archon Shards are not mandatory, but if you want, it gives you a lot more flexibility. Two Amber Shards for casting speed if you want. But my main focus school here is going to be Matarai. The reason I'm using Matarai is because of Sling Strength. This gives me a 40% strength increase whenever I do two Void Slings. Also, performing a Transference grants me 50% casting speed, which is basically two Amber Shards. And for the Arcanes on this build, I am using Arcane Blessing to give me health. Picking up health orbs grants my Warframe health, reaching a total of 1,200 health. He already gets armor, and now with this Arcane, he gets health. So a perfect health tank combo. Arcane Fury. This Arcane is just a free base damage multiplier whenever you crit. And I'm critting all the time. And the great thing is, you don't need any Arcane to give you energy. Also, do not forget your two Dexterity Arcanes, one on your primary and the other on the secondary to help you maintain your combo. In the aura, I have Steel Charge. This gives all my melee weapons a base of 60% damage, and on top of that, increases your mod capacity, saving you a Forma. In the Exilus, I have Prime Surefooted. Now you're gonna get some people jumping in saying, hey, Atlas has a passive that grants him knockdown and stagger immunity. That is true, but only when he is physically standing on the ground. And this is Warframe. You're gonna be bullet jumping left and right. So it's not guaranteed you're gonna be knocked down immune all the time. Because as soon as you lift your feet off the ground, you are vulnerable to all the knockdowns and staggers. And spending less time on your butt is a huge DPS increase. Strength at 243% with Blind Rage and Umbral Intensify. You may notice I have negative efficiency because efficiency is not an issue, especially with the Augments and Nourish. Duration at 155% with Primed Continuity. This affects all my abilities, increasing my combo time window, Path of Statues trail, Nourish's uptime, Petrified duration, and how long my stupid minions are out there smashing things. Equilibrium. This allows me to pick up health orbs and convert health to energy and energy to health. And you pair this mod with your Panzer Volpophila using the Synth Set mods, meaning this is able to boost my Arcane Blessing and Nourish. Stretch. Affecting my Landslide, it does increase the range of my Petrify and and nourishes retaliation. And yes, it'll, it'll, it also affects my Rumbler's punch radius, but th that's not important. And the two amazing augments that you cannot go without, Pathos Statues and Rubble Heap. And for added defenses, I do have Adaptation. Since this is a health tanking build, I have my armor, I have my health. Now just give us some added damage reduction on top of my iframes when I punch people. So he's quite a tanky boy. And now onto the Ceramic Dagger build. As you can see, for the evolutions, I do have Gun and Blade, Adept Reflexes, and Absolute Valor. Basically, the first two give me seven times initial combo, and the final evolution for that juicy 30% crit chance. May have noticed, I have nothing but raw damage here. Prime Pressure Point and Spoiled Strike for the base damage. Prime Fever Strike and Shocking Touch together forms Corrosive because I already have Viral from Nourish. More elemental damage multiplier increases my damage output. Crit chance with Blood Rush, Sacrificial Steel, and Gladiator Might. And Gladiator Might also doubles as a crit damage mod, pairing up with Orc and Shatter, multiplying my damage. Whenever I crit, and guess what? That's all the time. And this is the Red Crit Atlas that does a gajillion damage. All right, folks, that has been it from this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it and learned something. And if you did, feel free to leave a like, 
share, and subscribe. For more Warframe content, streams, and so much more, do it for the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, a peace. Bye bye now.